Okay, we are back at the brick factory, Carnegie SVRA. My neighbor Randy is out here somewhere. It's a Monday. Like my weekday rides, avoid the crowds. Heard this place was super crowded yesterday. They had a hill climb event here. So there was a ton of folks here for that and a ride. It's April, middle of April, and red sticker season is over at the end of April here at Carnegie, and I won't be able to ride my KTM here until next October due to carb regulations. You be a good boy, Logan. Brought Logan out today. Loves coming out here. He'll hang out in this camper all day. <laughs> Silly dog, he loves it. So, go do some exploring. Uh, we had some good rain. Let's see, last Thursday it poured heavily, so uh, a lot has dried out already, but I'm going to go find the stuff in the shade and on the north facing sides, see if we can find some hero dirt. And I'll bring you along with me. Retired guy riding on a Monday. See, it's muddy here in the shade. People out here do their maintenance yard.
couple snakes are going to be coming out. It's getting warmer. You have to keep a lookout for those critters. A lot of people like to kill them if they're essential to the ecology. So everything in nature has its place. Torching along, man, I could get off and walk along next to it. That's what I love about this bike. You really lug it down low and just crawl. You can master the clutch, you can pretty much crawl up anything. You can keep that back wheel from spinning. Hook it up, gotta get it to hook up. I love that kind of stuff. Catch on the sides of the front. Turn right here, uphill. Drop here, drop. Bumpers anymore, I used to jump across that. But I do like it. Don't want to hit things. Right here, let's do this.
Get you downhill. Turn it off, feel quieter. Feel a little closer to nature. Uh-oh. Might have to push it. Okay. I came down through there once. Talk about major poison oak. But there's a signs of an old trail in there. I saw glimpses of it, so I go, I'm gonna go down that and then uh Got in there and I was like, oh my god, so much poison oak. That almost looks like it'd be a trail going that way. Let's see if Randy has his radio. Hey Randy, you got a copy? I'm probably, I don't think anyone else has a radio out here if they're out here. All right, I'm gonna start to get across this. I don't know if I can coast through this, can I? Yeah, coast through this. Ooh. Hopefully I'm recording. So when I can't reach my rear brake pedal, deep ruts going downhill, put my bike in first gear, turn off the engine, and then I just use the clutch. That's my rear brake. See? Yeah, that way your feet are off the pegs, back wheel skid, and then you can go. So you pull in the clutch and you'll go. Clutch in. Time to break a little bit. Let the clutch out. See? <sighs> Take it easy around this sharp turn. It's a steep drop. You can see we're coming up. This is a little bit of a struggle. This is like almost vertical right here. Nearly vertical. So I'll be able to bump start it when I get down around here. I like to bump start when I can. I'm not using my electric start all the time. Okay, let's let it roll. And bump. Go to third. No one ever 